Well done. Oh, there's a corpse up there too. You really, really, really wanted to get him. Apparel. Put apparel out there that's tainted. Oops, oops, clear all. Didn't mean anything. Put all tainted apparel out there, not parkas. And we got a gift. Medicine and steel. Isamburus. Good now afternoon. We are doing solo colonist sea ice with uh, not really taking advantage of much of stuff. I tried doing more 500% uh, Rim Royal Community Challenges. We got annihilated. It was funny. Helpless Nomad. No. Whole lot of medicine. Yes. That is quite good. Uh, leave that up at glitter for now. Are we still below? We're still below 14,000. Uh, we got the smelter we can turn on. We are getting lower on food. We have mood. Let's let's eat these people. How do the graves help? I don't know if they do. Uh, they may slow people down. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, we did want graves to maybe bury corpses, and we don't have anything else to do, so I put them there. I'm not sure they slow people down. I'm not sure they do anything. Doesn't really matter. They don't hurt. They certainly don't make things worse. So, I put them there. And our mood is out of control. So, we are going to try eating human meat for a bit. Okay, you had a meal in your inventory. I didn't notice it. It looked like they're for a specific purpose around the turbine. Yeah, they may slow things down. So that's why I put them there. And I wanted to put them close by the base anyway. So I was like, what the heck? Might as well just do it around the windmill. This uh, sandbag is uh, ranged. Enemies will run to cover if there's cover nearby. So when we do door tricks around, instead of the ranged enemies immediately shooting at us, they'll run towards cover, giving us a fraction of a second to close the door or whatever. So we d And we also want them to run to the middle where I can shoot them from either door. But this, uh, I already died once. The first time, uh, the second enemy that attacked us was 15 shooting skill, tough with a flak vest and an auto pistol. And uh, we lost the one-on-one -on -one fight. I could have let him blow up all our stuff made of steel. But I was like, I'd rather restart than that. And uh, we got him bleeding to death, but he knocked us over before we knocked him over. But this one has been going spectacular. We're not a very good person. But we did get four ship chunk drop. We killed six bunnies at the start. And we had some good cargo pods. So things have gone very, very well. Eight human meat. Eight. You're you're fine. We can eat human meat. We're doing this. Mo with the the mood we get thanks to this sculpture, we're really good. So yeah, no hydroponics going to be needed for a while. Everything looks good. Oh, fire foam is something we want. And biofuel refining fire foam. Uh, the fewer colonists you have, the more dangerous fire is. Because fire can spread faster than one colonist can put it out. So having a fire foam popper or possibly a fire foam pack later will be big, big, big. I turned 
turn this off. And we intentionally have no conduit, so there's no zit events. Yeah, we're just gonna hang out for a while. Again, more rimworld questions. Very welcome, because this is gonna be boring. Uh, I was going to work on a uh, Rimian ship info and Rimian ship statistics if we don't get any stuff, but I'm gonna have tea for a moment. Uh, I I am open to ideas on defenses. Spike traps aren't really an option while we don't have uh, this. Have I worked out the optimal ideology? Uh, and Mora, good afternoon. Uh, shooting specialist, production specialist, and then it depends. Remian ship details have not yet been released. Uh, no, no, no details quite yet. Do Devil Strand sandbags have more fire resistance? Let's find out. Never considered it. Uh, flammability. No, all sandbags don't light on fire, so. All sandbags are immune to fire, that's right. Tox Tunnel! Oh, I didn't consider that. Yeah, I could use... Well, the I still need to be able to beat mechs. Though I'd only get attacked by two or three mechs at a time. Maybe four. Yeah, uh... Yeah, I need to be able to beat three Scythers. I think... I think Burn Box and Allies is all I need. We'll do... We're, we'll cheese this. I usually hate making burn boxes, but I think we'll just do burn box and call in allies. If it's a human raid, we burn them. If it's mechs, we call in allies. And that's how we do the ship launch. And to do the ship launch, we're just going to make the reactor first. Until we get to this stuff, though, I, I need uh, short-term defensive ideas. Maybe a turret? A turret, and I can put it outside when we need it and bring it inside when we don't? I do... A double thick wall would be awesome, where I can do door shenanigans stuff. Can I make mazes long enough to just bounce the mechs until another human raid? Uh, theoretically, yes, but my mood will break before I do that. And that would be an absurd amount of resources. Will the burn box use wood each time it's used? Not necessarily. I could just use a Molotov and throw it indefinitely. Uh, that may get hot enough. I may need a little bit of wood. But wood isn't... It doesn't need a lot. It's actually reasonably doable to do a bonsai. Oh, can I do a bonsai? Attacking immediately. Crap. Uh, Neanderthal. Okay, he doesn't have clothes. So I just need to run him around in circles until he gets cold before we get cold. I could also burn junk clothing. That's a good idea. Yeah, we could find stuff to do it. Okay, so hopefully... Yeah, he's already shivering. We're faster than he is. Just by the tiniest of bits. So we're just gonna stall this guy out. Crap, now we're cold. What is ours? Minus 41, minus 17, wow. I could make animal flaps as doors around the turret. That's true. That's true. I mean, just uninstalling the door would work. Oh god, mood. Hypothermia minor. Does that slow him more? Yes. I was really, 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 really hoping you would make that shot. Only two months until our Twitch baby is born. Hope you're a good dude. 
<laughs> Millie, thank you very much for subscribing. Can I use dryads? Uh, there's nowhere to plant them. And I uh, want to avoid using anything like that. Good, he's got serious hypothermia. He's dead. So we're intentionally not going to use Mechanator. We're intentionally not going to use a good ideology. We're just going to use uh, your wits <laughs> and and my tedium. Your good ideas. There we go. Wander join. No, 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 no. Feel better. Feel better. You can have a meal for that. Deny joining. Oh, we're already pissed off about eating the meal. I should have just eaten it anyway. And yeah, whatever. The goal is to win without doing anything smart. Yeah, the goal is to win without using a lot of the cheesy stuff. I mean, we could we could use an ideology to turn off mood management. You could turn on shooting specialists to turn off combat. None of that stuff's fun. Oh, wow, it's really cold. I don't like turning off game mechanics. I mean, you should turn off the ones... Uh, you should play how you find fun, but... I don't- I like it being difficult, and tons of stuff to manage. There we go. Get mood back under control. Uh, useless club. We got a fair bit of human leather now. We're above 14,000, but still should be in the one enemy territory. What is the... Hundred percent. Is that good or bad? Hundred percent. Hundred twenty percent. Okay, so it's regular door open speed for human leather flaps. How many hit points do they have? Twenty six. Wow. That's uh not much. We could reclaim this. I should have made that human leather. Well, back to doing nothing. Back to eating people. <laughs> this is this is very uneventful. When you only have fabric at hand, it helps. I agree. Uh, nope. We're not good people. Uh, so that's this. Um, what was I doing for Rimian shop? Rimian Rimian ship stuff. Where is it? Desktop Rimian ship. Uh, it's not opening. There we go. Oh, sorry. Let me... There. So you can see all the non-action. Need warm clothes. Yeah, we got the clothes. So I was uh, going to do a guide of what, what I think are the ways to get the super high wealth and like the Remian ship things. And I was typing up ideas like how to play fast, how you want to manage food differently and mood. Uh, what are the things? Uh, profit per time. Uh, plants. Double beds? I should have been doing double beds. Um, uh, uh, work time. Cooking setup. What other topics were there? Sorry, I'm just regurgitating stuff out of my head without explaining it. So at the moment, I'm just trying to make sure I know all the topics I want to go through in the guide, and then it would go back is filling in all the topic. Silda Burb Raiders, uh, thank you for raiding. Uh, not much is going on. We're semi-stable on solo colonist sea ice. 
Uh, I do it no pause, and while this is going, I was going to work on RimWorld Guide stuff. Uh, not much is going to happen. I'm looking for ideas on how we can defend ourselves. We are not cannibals. We are not using lots of RimWorld features to our advantage. We're not using a cannibal ideology, or really any good ideology. Just a neutral one. We just got a basic person, but we got enough mood that we can eat human meat. We're pretty limited on stuff. Animal ranching. Uh, Disnoff won last year, yes. Without too much exploiting of other mechanics. Uh, yes, uh, that... The challenge last year was very different. Uh, yes, animal ranching is a big one. That's a good idea. I need to put that on there. Animal ranching is amazing because uh, you can let the animals breed. Uh, requires biome. And it doesn't have any work. Uh, survival meals. Yep. Yeah. So last year, uh, the Rimian ship was the, called the Blood God Edition, and the game demanded sacrifices as you went up in colonists. And all these crazy and wild and outrageous things happened. So it was very, very different. You don't think human meat counts as cannibalism in a paste? It, it counts as cannibalism in a paste. If we uh, made paste meals, like uh, you can, there's a way. If we interrupt the person when they take the paste meal out and drop it on the ground, we could put up stack paste meals, and then we could use tricks, and we could drop the paste meals on the hopper. If you cycle the human meat through twice, it removes it. It just goes, it's a nutrient paste meal made from nutrient paste. But for now, uh, we're getting the penalty. But it doesn't matter. We got enough bonuses that who cares? So we're going to eat human meat because it doesn't matter. But yeah, ranching, that's a good one. Uh, double beds. Plants is the biggest one. Uh, drugs. I should do drugs. God beats. I wish. Uh, no, no wildlife yet. So how you schedule for time? Uh, research, research. Don't do it. Purchasing stuff. Crest reward, profit ratio analysis, that'd be tough. Uh, off-map stuff does matter. Oh, off-map off, off -map stuff. Let me, let me purchase. Uh, every shock lance. Ooh, pollution, pollution. We don't mind pollution, but we have plenty of glitter world medicine. Keep an eye on the human meat. Let me know when I need to unforbid everything. What natural resource options? Uh, everything you see here and this. This is, this is the entirety of our resources. Eventually, we will get to a uh, ground penetrating scanner and deep drilling, but that's going to be a long way off. Just just do something. Who cares? We don't need any of this nonsense. Oh, biofuel refining, actually. We do want that one. We'll get these power ones out of the way. So how much is a Toxifier generator? 120 this. How much power does it make? It doesn't say? Am I dumb? Shouldn't one of the pop-ups here say how much power it makes? 1400, I think? That sounds about right. And I would I would have guessed a thousand. I guess none of the other ones say how much they make. That is 50% lit. That's plenty of light. Uh, could do some rituals. Do I want to get into one... 
What does it need to make a bonsai tree? Yep, nothing. We get 1400, thank you. Thank you for checking. Yeah, there's there's nothing going on. I am excited for later today. We're having barbecue, pulled pork. I am pumped and biscuits. Uh, my brother's cooking. He's a former professional chef. Uh, he says he makes the best biscuits above the Mason Dixon line. And if you aren't familiar with what that means, if you're not American, the biscuits are sort of a southern food and the south is essentially below the mason dixon line the mason dixon line was a line i think it's from the civil war i think that's what the line it may have referred to something else so the south is below the mason dixon line so he says he makes the best biscuits out of the south i think they're really really good pulled pork with your pizza pan that doesn't fit the oven exactly yes so i like to make homemade pizza and I ordered a pizza, a pan for making pizzas in a home oven. Like to make pizza at home, my oven doesn't get all that hot. So we have to do all these absurd and stupid steps to get the pizza how I want it in suboptimal temperatures. So uh, I ordered a pizza pan online and naturally I just ordered a really big one because I like big pizzas. I like New York style pizza. And I ordered an 18 inch pizza pan thing and it doesn't fit in my oven. Oh crap. Did you eat raw cannibalism there? Oh, I unforbid the meals. Oh, whatever. Oh, you're trapped underground. We'll go stand outside. So I ordered a pizza pan. It doesn't fit in the oven, but it just so happens that uh, when you're shredding pulled pork, you need like a big surface to do it on. And the pizza pan with its like slight lips at the side is the absolutely perfect thing to shred pulled pork on. It holds it in and it's a big area. So we use my pizza pan for making barbecue. And why is he a former chef? No, no he, yeah, he, he didn't... Uh, he actually has uh, an allergy to the thing they put in soybean oil. Like the the process of extracting soybean oil uses these funky chemicals and he's allergic to them. And soybean oil is everywhere in all kitchens. So he went back to merely being an engineer. But he sure is good at cooking. So he makes Carolina style pulled pork and it is awesome. Yeah, quest failed, whatever. Don't care. Heater, we're warm enough. We still a parka. Yeah, we're just gonna research the whole tech tree. We could make uh, we need 140 steel, it was, for one hydroponic basin and a sun lamp. We got human meat we can go through. Hopefully, we can shoot some more animals. We're probably going to get attacked soon again. Yep, going to get attacked anytime now. We're just waiting for chunks to arrive. There's nothing to do. Just hang out, find chunks. Need to come up with a way to protect the windmill and defenses. Traps, double thick wall eventually. Call in allies eventually. You had a bakery colleague once and he got a flower allergy. That was it for him. That's brutal. That's the worst. <laughs> Give the windmill a gun. I wish. We'd have to look up like the fighter pilots to like sync up the gun to the rotors. Team animals to defend the windmill. That's that's what we need to do. Yes. <laughs> Stash of supplies. Uh, no. Let's not risk going on a caravan. Golafa still. Good afternoon. Roof traps. Roof traps. Uh. Yes. 
Roof traps do cost resources, though. Uh, actually, let me test that. Do roof traps cost res Army of Boomalopes, that's a good idea, too. Let me, let me test roof trap. Okay. So you can do stupid roof traps like this. Here, let's make it be even bigger. Let's make it dumber. Okay, hold on. Let's let's make it as dumb as we can. Okay, you need to sleep, that's fine. So we'll make the... Roof traps are a really, really good idea. It costs a tiny bit of resources, though, so that's kind of tough. So we've got a stupid roof. Here's our stupid roof. And now we're going to trim it. There we go. So this, this spot right here is going to support this... Okay, we're not going to test that right now. I don't know why you wanted me to test roof traps outside. Obviously, we should stay inside right now. But thank you for the idea. We'll, we'll get back to that in a second. I really, really like the roof trap idea, but I think we're going to need to spend one wall on it. Evie, hello! We are doing another crazy run. We're doing solo colonist sea ice. What resource does a roof cost? Oh, the, the roof is free. It's just a matter of to make the roof collapse. I think I need it supported by a wall. Uh, Evie plays RimWorld, and I'm a big fan of watching Evie. Evie plays quite a bit differently for me, but everyone should play how they find fun. I like playing lots of different ways. But we are doing Solo Colonist Sea Ice, and this is it. This is, this is everything we have, and this is everything we're going to have. Oh, you're doing great, Evie. Everyone starts somewhere. So it's it's fine here. Let me let me see if I can figure this out. Shout out Evie Green Bottle. So I like watching Evie Green Bottle play. It's a lot of fun. You can't have unlimited roof without support. Uh we can you you'll see, we can make a whole ton of roof without support. Roof watch 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 what'll happen. You'll see. This is this is pretty this is pretty wild. And there's a there's a guide on my channel. Let me link it to you. How you can do insane roof shenanigans. So, constructing the roof, it must be within six tiles and supported, and it checks both at the same time. But when deconstructing the roof, it checks them separately. So we're going to have this one roof cell support this entire roof. And I'm not sure what happens when we deconstruct that one cell supporting it. We're, we'll find out. Let me let me get my my roof collapse shenanigan guide for you. I'll link it here in chat in a second when I find it. Playlists. Uh, is it this one? Nope, not that one. Quick tips. Roofing. Oh, hell, we got nothing to do. We'll just watch it right here, right now. Six tile. Let's just bring it over. We got nothing to do. Let me, let me just, you know. Radius. However, when a roof is constructed, it must be connected to support within a six tile radius. However, when roofing is deconstructed, the game makes two separate independent checks. First, is this roof connected to support? And second, is there support within six tiles? These two mechanics are not the same. First, ensure the area has roof supports in range. Second, roof the entire area. Third, remove roofing to just the roofing you want. This has some limited combat uses. You can make roofing traps of nearly any size or shape you want. It isn't particularly effective, but it is pretty fun and silly. 
we can take this up a notch by using animal fence gates or animal flaps. These two structures block enemy pathing entirely, but they are not priority targeted by enemies and they do not support roofing. We can make short hallways like this to slow enemies and drop roofing simultaneously on all foes inside. Lay out the walls to support. Use fences to both slow enemies and to guide enemies down the center of the trap. The fence gates prevent collision and don't support the roof. First, roof the whole area, then remove roofing to create the trap. Line up a few of these around the base and we have a nice headbanger setup. Let's try it out against a max size pirate raid. It's not the greatest of plans, but it is pretty fun. So we could do the roof trap, but I think I need to destroy one wall each time we use it. But let's see. I also need to do this without dropping it on my head. Evie, you love getting my advice. You've been watching a lot of my YouTube stuff. Cool, cool. I'm hoping to uh, make more newer player focus guides at some point. I'm supposed to do that. Uh, but let's see. Let's see. I need to remove this roof without killing myself. Nope, nope, nope. She was going to stand under it. <laughs> let's let's uh let's not do that. Uh yeah. We're just going to remove the whole thing. I wasn't sure if that was going to crash it down on her head. Does a column use less material? A column uses more than a wall. Try from the corner. That's a good idea. What? <laughs> it didn't fall down. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not supported at all. Oh, 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 crap, crap, crap. No, 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 no. You weren't supposed to do that. You weren't, you weren't. Put it back, put it back. Hold up, how did I do that? Oh, uh, I got a video, hold on. Here's here's the video we just watched. It's it's very cheesy and silly. Uh and we should roof right there. Oh, we need to roof over the battery. Yeah, there we go. Go put the battery there you go. And we don't have enough food. Okay, we're out of human meat. Uh, stuff is not deteriorating due to being outdoors. We're all good. So roof collapse is a good idea, but we need to use a tiny amount of resources each time. But all we need to do is use the roof enough just to injure the people so we're faster. That's the key part. As long as we're faster, I should be able to kite them, door shenanigan them a lot. A double thick wall would also be good, but I like the roof idea. Do some of that. So, Evie, uh, are they not going to freeze inside with the roof not completely on? Okay, so uh, the crazy mechanic is any room that is 25% unroofed is considered outdoors and instantly and always has the outdoor temperature. Any room less than 25% unroofed is considered a room and some temperature is retained. And items deteriorate two separate ways. One is outdoors and two is unroofed. Uh, this hair meat is technically indoors because this room is one cell less than 25% unroofed. So it's indoors and it is roofed. So this is not deteriorating at all. So if we unroof one more cell, we did the, we counted earlier. So watch, we're going to unroof one more cell here and it's going to make this room outdoors. 
and now it's deteriorating due to outdoors. So we did the math and we unroofed just enough. So that's really useful on maps that are cold. You can have a free freezer by unroofing not where you store the items. And there's a few other crazy ways you can use that mechanic. Uh, but essentially you mostly have this. Oh, well, how is our pond not frozen? Uh, we acquired a parka from a visitor. Uh, we talked to them very passionately using our charge rifle. And they gifted us a parka and we made a heater. And the heater also provides us light. The heater provides that much light so that's where we put our chair where we sit and work <laughs> so so that's how we barely stay warm but it's still too cold for us uh yep the nutrient paste thing counts as well that's true yes the the nutrient paste counts as well so these are two separate rooms uh yes it's two different rooms my my bad yeah that's the main way we're heating up this side so this side if you see on the right right here this side is nice and warm, and this side is frozen. Yes, sorry, the paste dispenser's a wall. First hydroponic or second heater? Uh, I'll let you know when we run out of food. So our choices for our next use of steel are hydroponic, replacing the windmill if it gets blown up, uh, maybe a turret, maybe microelectronics for orbital trading. We'll see. Nice and warm, 5C, yes, yes. So also a good stat to know, if you come over to the gear tab, if you hit gear, where it says this comfortable temperature range, uh, hypothermia and heat stroke are 10C above and below this range. So the further above and below, the faster you get heat stroke or hypothermia. So we can go to minus 51C before we start getting hypothermia, and it's going to go really slow there. We can replace some steel walls, doors with silver. Yep. Uh, we're going to hold off. We don't need it yet. Hopefully an animal shows up or a person shows up and we can murder them. So we're being really, really conservative with our resources because there's a high chance we blow up the windmill. And I need to be able to replace the windmill. I really don't want to have to trim down the doors. Though I should probably replace this with an animal flap. We might as well do that. Uh, yeah, put animal flap there. There you go. Why are graves around the windmill? Uh, so, oops. If you bury something, it has the outdoor temperature. So if you put a sarcophagus in your freezer and you bury somebody, that'll keep your person frozen. And you may want to do that because there's a resurrector mech serum. So if somebody dies and you think, maybe I'll find a way to resurrect them, you would put sarcophagus in your freezer of course when your freezer isn't frozen like in a solar flare it doesn't work so when we kill animals and we don't want to butcher them i uh bury them as safekeeping and i'm not sure i think graves slow stuff down a little bit and i wanted to put the graves right here anyway so i put them around the windmill because whatever i'm not sure if that actually works or does anything and the graves don't block the windmill zone yeah it may slow enemies down a tiny bit. I don't think it does, but it might. And I had to put them somewhere. We're going to replace the two outer doors with animal apps? No, 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 no. Uh, so uh, when we do the door trick, so here's here's the door trick we use. I, I'll uh, right click on the door. Oh, not the outer door. Uh, oh, these two tiles. Got it. That's what you mean. Okay, yeah. So, so for anybody who hasn't seen the door trick, uh, the way I do the door trick is you right click to move, you undraft, redraft, and then you shoot. So that way we shoot through the door without standing on the door. So we can use this to take a quick shot and then the door closes. So we're using that technique a lot to trick shot enemies. And it's very important that these doors open and close fast and have lots of hit points. But yeah, we could replace these two with animal flaps. The enemy graves don't slow stuff, and they don't provide cover. Gotcha. So they don't do anything. It was just a place to put the graves. Thank you for checking. Oh, we have an animal here? No, that's just... It looks like it has something in. 
Oh, good call. Yeah, I could have just gone like this to see. Yeah, no, no change. Thank you. Uh, sure, we may go for the venerated Holy Jade Club of Destiny. You can't stand on graves. That's true. That's right. Uh, they can't directly path to them. That's important. Good call. Uh, actually, that means I want two more. I forgot about that. It prevents the direct pathing. Just like uh, other things do. So enemies can't stand there except when they're walking over to bash. And that's what I want. I don't want the enemies to take cover on the windmill. Uh, we're down to eight food. Crap. So enemies, uh, when they bump into each other, uh, they can stop and shoot from wherever. So usually people use like barricades or columns or sandbags to slow down enemies. But you, they can still, while they're crossing them, if they take damage, they can stop. Uh, fire foam. That's that's right. Good call. D uh, animals spawn super infrequently. We've killed like four bunnies, five bunnies. We've killed fifty-six light leather worth of bunnies. Sila de Burb, you're off to sleep. Have a good night. Uh, so we may need to make the hydroponics. Uh, we need to do that now. Crap. Yeah, no mortar barrel. Oh, oh, this steel knife, steel knife. Good call. I think it's going to be just short. 130. Hmm. I really don't want to blow up the smelter. Uh, I think I blew up the heater. As crazy as that sounds... Yeah, I don't think they're razor-wired. That doesn't produce any material when you deconstruct it or destroy it. I mean, we can go try real quick. But I'm pretty sure it's nothing. Crap! We have enough for hydroponic, but we need the light as well. We need a hundred for the base and... Oh, we could put it outside. That's right. Unroofed is enough, yeah. Uh, 36. We can put it in here. I can just unroof the four cells. So 36. 36 times 0.25. Nine. Awesome, yeah. Good call, Karai. We can just put it in and unroof it. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. I mean, either way, we, we're going to need to make this, so... Might as well make this first and see if it's warm enough. No, no, no. You need to do this right now. Oh, it's not going to be... hot enough. Crap. I forgot about that, too. No, it's not even going to be close to cold enough. And I... That's going to require too much battery shenanigans. It's not going to be warm enough... I can't blow up the heater, because then it won't be warm enough. Hmm.
Yeah, you're right. These walls are enough. Uh, you have to do that right now. We need to start this food. Smurf. Smurf. You blew it. Okay. Uh, so... Crap. So those lights take a lot? Yep. Uh, so lights, uh, plants... Plants die after seven days without light, so I may need to, uh... So I'd probably flip the light on and off a lot. Uh, well, okay, jackpot. <laughs> Meals have arrived. Oh, they don't have, uh, food. Okay, so we can buy stuff. Uh, shock lance would be really nice, but at the moment... Yeah, I'm maybe buying the bison and butchering it. Do we have any other options? Uh, do I murder the bison? It's a breeding pair. <laughs> uh, I don't want to make a butcher table still. We can't afford it. I want some plasteel. Can I make a plasteel door? How much is a plasteel door? We can afford a plasteel door. Uh, I need one advanced component for a scanner, right? What does the ground penetrating scanner Rimworld? That costs one advanced component, right? Yes, it does. So we want one of them. One advance for normal. Got it. Thank you. Can't feed the bison, but the bison can feed us. <laughs> they don't have survival meals. Uh, I think... We'll just spend the rest of our money on components. A one. There we go. Good wealth management. We were below where wealth mattered. We still are. Uh. Here we go. Nope. Nope. You don't get to eat that. That was clutch streamer luck right there. Just in time. Still, I put in the wrong spot, the hydroponics. It's not in range of the battery, so we're going to have to move the battery constantly. Deconstructing ancient fence. Yeah, nothing. Go get the component. We'll replace this door with plasteel. When I leave, uh, shoot the animals. Uh, I want to befriend them. I'm going to save the goodwill. I could shoot them a little bit, but I'm not sure. Can it reach from where the bed is? Maybe. But the important thing is it's still... I don't want to make a conduit. If I make a conduit, the zit events appear. So, hopefully, we'll be able to afford a second battery, and I can just flip them back and forth. Fog? 
for two Glitter World Medicine and some Goodwill. We'll take it. Throw the Jade. Are we a cannibal? Nope. But we have been eating people. We have enough mood that uh, we were eating people for a while. So we are not a cannibal and our ideology doesn't believe in cannibalism. But we have enough mood that we can eat people anyway. I turn that off. Uh, yep, back to researching. So we have quite a bit of food. Oh, there was a snow hare on the map. It's Dwayne. And he's got a parka. Where's the snow hare? Okay, we'll wait till it comes around and then we'll door trick it. Okay, it's okay. Bashes between two and five times. Three. There it goes. Let it get a little further away. Nope, nope. That's fine. Yeah, we're not a very good shooter. So again, it's right click on door, undraft, redraft, aim to shoot. And that way we open the door but don't actually go outside. Actually, I don't even need to aim to shoot since... Here's just a hostile, and they'll do it automatically. Yeah, we don't actually want to fight the rabbit. Yeah, let the door close. Two, three. This is why we're going to replace that door with plasteel. It'll last longer, and we got to watch our windmill. Oh, we hit it! And that's more food. i got to watch that more. And... There's a parka. Sorry, Dwayne. Dwayne, are we going to get you? Strip him. Oh, we got it. We got the parka. And our shooting improved the five. Good call, Avi. Yes. Very helpful. That is big deal. Big deal. A nice fog to make our shooting worse. That's going to be great. So more human meat. That's fantastic. We unforbid six things? Is that what it said? What other things are here? Oh, meat in the base. Got it. Thank you. Oh, crap. We, we probably ate a meal. Thank you. It was the meals. Uh, can you... There you go. Is there a hole in the freezer room? Yes. Uh, move the bed? Why? Why move the bed? So, uh, the room is just roofed enough that it's not getting items deteriorated, and we just got to free outdoor temperatures. If you replace the bed and move one wall piece, you can install the battery north-south. Oh, gotcha! Gotcha, yeah. Uh, good idea. That's a really good idea. Uh, let's... Put the bed there. I see what you mean. And... Yeah, hopefully that'll be in range of both things. So... This as plasteel. And this as silver. And the battery like that. Good idea. Can you make the room before you take a break it connects to both oh good call hold on hold on let me let me get out hold on let me let me find my extremely important stream points spreadsheet okay isamburus 
one point. Move. Move bed. Move one wall. Very, very important. Earned a point right there. Well earned. Well done. Oh, he broke the heater again. Uh, you can turn this off. Good call. Yeah. That's... Now it connects to both. You're getting some whose line is it anyway vibes from the spreadsheet. It's a very, very important spreadsheet. Look at, look at these important points people have earned. Let me, let me move it over so... Uh, Jake Quarters for gratuitous butt kissing. First variable because they can read numbers. John the Crusader uh, told me I should maybe save my files I work on. Yukitaka, uh, it's important to kill Huntsman. Peanut earned a point. Uh, I refuse to say uh, to write down the absolutely terrible uh, dad joke they made. I refuse to write it down, but they got a point for it. Their dad joke was so bad that the Jade Club rewarded a Jade Cargo Drop immediately after they said it. That's how we knew it was worth a point. And Isim Burris got one for telling me to move a bed. <laughs> well done. And uh, now we're back to hanging out. Attacking immediately. Uh, they don't have a parka. And it's meat. Yes, yes. Uh, what is the range of a shortbow? 23. So we just outrange them. But more importantly, they die first. Uh, minus 5C. Oh, they're not getting hypothermia. It's not cold enough. So again, it's 10C below this. They start getting hypothermia at whatever. Okay, that's not good. So, no, we're not going to freeze them to death. Uh, we're going to have to door shenanigan them. Uh, fire one from right here, from cover. Just pray we don't get brain shot. They're going to run to cover. They're going to run to the cover there, so I can shoot again. Okay, don't, don't be here. The battery! Crap! Crap, 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 get inside, get inside. Crap, 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 crap. Forgot the battery. I meant to uninstall the battery. Good, they're hitting the windmill, not the battery. Good, they're moving to cover. Nope, don't, don't get shot. Oh, I should have uninstalled the battery. Can you move? Please move. Crap! Thank you for the hat. <laughs> we got a hat! <clears throat> that, uh... I, I really should have uninstalled the battery. Okay, worked out. We are lucky we didn't get brain shot right there. Uh, while mood is really good, let's go back to eating people. Maybe in this up the door. Actually, that worked out reasonably well because we were able to take cover here from an angle. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, I should put something in this cell right there. Yeah, put something there. Nope, they can betray us and then we die. Okay, let's go back to eating people. We have sufficient mood for that. We're wearing a hat now. 
Fantastic. Back to researching. <laughs> so we made the hydroponic basin. Didn't end up using it. Meat arrived immediately after. What are we at in money? We're doing good. <laughs> Refugee, more like meat? Nah. The young boy's mother always kissed his bruises after an accident. One day he came home after hitting his crotch. <laughs> wow. Wow. Move the clothing. Uh, we're intentionally throwing tainted clothing out there to deteriorate. So I'm just letting all the tainted stuff go poof. Uh, I have a second parka, so we can put parkas out here now, too. I was saving the tainted parka just in case we needed it. I'll accept that. You probably won't ever go to that. Psychic drone. I think our mood is still good enough that despite eating people and the psychic drone, we should be okay. Oh, that the research bonus is so good. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a whole lot of nothing. It's uh, really... All we're doing is waiting till we get materials. Then prepare for a while then attack. They have a bow. We outrange them. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I really need like a sniper rifle. Let's see if I can do this. Outrange and outskill. Okay, well, we're going to have to go with outrange cuz I'm not going to outskill them. I know you mean the shooting skill. But we don't actually want to risk it. Oh crap, I'm way too close. There, shoot from there. Okay, just... 6.8%. Oh, we hit him? In the leg? In the foot? Oh, that was the best hit possible. Other than, you know, like an insta-kill. Now they're really slow. So we just, uh, when I want to stop, I just undraft, redraft. So we just want to fire for maximum range. Uh, let's not risk it. He'll stop right about there. Don't let him shoot you. Don't let him shoot you. Okay, you got off one shot. That's not good. I shouldn't have done that. 6.8%. Well, more shooting XP. Bleeding to death. Not bleeding to death. Oh, mood, mood. And the and the battery. Go feel better. Yeah, you need to get your mood up. Yeah, well, not immediate danger. It's still tons of blood loss. Yeah, it is going to kick in soon. Oh, crap. They're not running to cover. Can you move again? We don't want to trade fire. Even though we're at a giant advantage, I don't want to randomly lose to a stupid death. There we go. That's a good hit. Now he's running to cover. Good. Three shots when he runs to cover. And he delivered Jade. Fantastic. Uh, Put the battery back. So that was two threats, so we're safe for six days for sure. And we could mine the grain, and it isn't even worth it. We're not going to make a bench. We really are just waiting till we get more steel. And more people to eat. You would do the same, just a bit of star watching in the snow. I like the idea of rich explorer landing in sea ice so they can eat paste human meals in a simple shack all on their own for years. What type of crazy rich explorer would want this? Uh, leave the wild tab. Wildlife tab up. Fire Festival 3. Your dream summer vacation is a couple of months in Antarctica. <laughs> well, I hope uh, 
I think there's more amenities than what we got here. I don't know. Pick something. Who cares? And there isn't really anything to do. We don't have enough steel to make anything. We're just waiting for steel to be delivered for a while. Server Lord, hello. What's the red blinking light? That's the mechanator thing. I'll just move the camera so we don't get bothered by that. Normally, I'm just so used to zooming way out so you guys can watch the base while I stand up and stretch and stuff. But uh, the base is really tiny, so there isn't really any anywhere to go. Uh, where are you going? So yeah, we're just waiting for enough resources to make something else. Uh, I'd like to be able to make... Oh, we're fighting thrombos. And this is why we have a plasteel door. So when I anger them and they come bash on the door, they bash between two and five times randomly. And this should be enough. I don't want to piss off. Well, it doesn't matter. You let it go a little further away. Good split up, please. Yeah, we're just going to use the door trick on him. Okay, we're not going to go chase him. We got a chunk. That's good. Oh, I, oh, they're too far away. They're not at the door. Crap. Okay, let's see if we can scare one over here. So, we uh, animals flee from nearby gunfire. It's very important that we not hit the animal. I did this once to a warg. And I missed the sleeping spot, and I hit the warg, and it ate me. So let's see if we can move this one closer to where we can door trick it. Okay, I was thinking we could move it further from where we could door trick it. Nope, don't, don't miss and hit the thrumbo. If you hit the thrumbo here, we die. This is not closer, I was thinking the same thing. Okay, we're sort of getting it closer. There we go, there we go. Now it's good. You were supposed to hit it! Think I'll risk it from right here. We'll try again. Okay, we got it. Unfortunately, that's the steel door, but that's okay. Two. Now we wait till it goes further away, and then we use the door trick. Good hits. Now I make sure I hit repair here, not move at door. That was a little close. Can you go a little further away? Good hits. No, 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 That's why I click on the door from far away. <laughs> he almost, he almost tried to open the door for the thrumbo. Pretty good so far. Got that music for the silliness. There we go. Good, more hits. Let's come repair this door for a bit. Okay, he's he's going far away. 
Let's not risk it. Good hits. Let's come over here. No, that's way too close. Permanent brain damage. Death in 17 hours. Nice. Uh, it's really got brain damage. Is it in leaving mode? It, when it gets in leaving mode, it just leaves for sure. It doesn't try to fight. Okay, go. Okay, you can eat. You can eat something. Uh, come back around, please. Where are you going? I'm over here. I don't want to hit the windmill too much. Shooting skill six. Okay, you can step on the door. It's really beat up. Okay, it's fine there. No, no, no. Repair. Oh, I thought I was eating the snowman. Improvement. Yep, we're getting there. We're getting our shooting scale up. Did it un hostile? Okay. We'll just uh let that one go. Oh, it's downed. <laughs> oh, victory. And then we'll work on that one. Food has arrived. Okay, we got tons of food now. So let's start eating non-human meat. Uh, let's go back to bison meat. Nope, nope, nope. That was the wrong button. Was that all the survival meals? Oh, no. Yikes. Okay. See if we can get this one. Don't hit the thrumbo. There we go. That looks good. Can we hit it from here? Well, we can shoot at it. I don't know if I really care about this. Good call to check on that. No, uh, we got enough meat for that. I'm not sure I care enough to go get that other one. Hmm. Sure would be nice, though. Oops, not the button I wanted to hit. Can we get in from here? Yeah, we don't know when the next animal will spawn. True. It sort of runs perpendicular-ish. Sometimes. Sort of. Okay, we're getting hungry. Nope, nope, nope! Oh, God! <laughs> I almost died! <laughs> oh, that would have been so bad. <laughs> if we missed and hit the thrombo there and it goes down, there's no hope. No, we're, we're completely screwed. <laughs> we need to get a shock lance or a jump pack at some point. <laughs> that would have been... An embarrassing death. Now you're heading out. Have a good one. Thank you for hanging out for a while. Okay, let's not go at three times speed while I'm shooting at the beds, because it wakes up and runs a direction I don't understand. Is it leaving? 
No. When it gets in leave mode, you can, like, freely shoot it, but... Okay, no more three times speed. Come, come to the door. Okay, the, the Jade Club has decided that that one's not gonna... Okay, it's leaving. Oh, we got one. We got a ton of meat. Uh, hopefully the meat doesn't thaw for years. We should be good for a while. No more eating people required. At least not for a while. We may bury some of the bodies to store them. Worth making a throw of her hat? Uh, yes and no. It's not worth making the tailor bench. That's the limiting factor on this. We have... 113 wood and 35 steel. I don't think I want to spend 75 wood on the tailor wrench at the moment. What you didn't realize about sea ice is how consequential each decision is. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 pretty hardcore. Oh, we can afford the sun lamp now. Uh Yeah, we're not close to I want to save electric tailor wrench, not wood. It doesn't matter. I mean, it still costs money. It's even more expensive if it's electric. Hundred twenty-five steel. No, I don't want to spend the hundred twenty-five steel on it. We want to save up enough steel that we can make another wind turbine if this one blows up. But for now, let's turn this on. And we can start getting rice. It's going to drain our battery big time. Uh, we're going to do this super inefficiently. So the plants die if they don't get light for uh, seven days. So we're just going to turn it on for a little bit at a time. Turn it on for a little bit. Give them some light, refill the battery, flip it back and forth. One waster. Uh, for 12 more goodwill. I do want goodwill. And that's... Let's risk it. I want goodwill because if we can call in allies once we get to the call-in thing, we're going to be, like, super good. So let's call it in. Uh... We're still not at the point where we have any wealth, so that's good. Yep. We're not going to do that. Psychoid Brewing. Um, uh, I don't know. Whatever. Just pick something. Okay, power's pretty good. Turn on the light. Oh, nice. We turned it off on in the daytime or whatever. Oh, it's a Grenader from the Tox Faction? Oh, awesome. Yeah, that makes it really easy. Good catch. Okay, turn that off. <laughs> this is going to be the, the least efficient growing of rice ever. But that's fine. We We just need a little bit more food. Balk, good trader. Oh, stupid auto home zone. Oh, where, where is it? Where is it? We need to run at him. Go, go, go. Don't let him leave. Balk, good, balk, good. Uh. Well, we don't need any of that. Where's the thrumbo horn? They don't take thrumbo horn. I want to keep one set of clothing, just in case. They have steel. We're never going to take the yeah, yo. Uh, it would have been nice if I processed that, but we're not going to. Do I want to keep the thrumbo fur? I think I want steel. Yeah, 
Yeah, I thought the bulk good would buy it. Uh, we'll sell the human meat as well. That is so much money. Ho 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 ho! I've never been so excited to buy steel. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have wood. Oh, only the tribal ones sell wood. We could buy a school desk and destroy it. Uh, no. I think, I think that's it. And... Okay, we do need to still sell the thrombo fur. There's no point in keeping it around. I'd rather wear a helmet than a thrombo fur hat. Uh... Chem fuel... Do you have wood? This is not a joke, right? We don't really need a hat that much. We'll just sit on the money. That's fine. Chocolate doesn't do anything. I could buy a few more components. We have 48 freaking components. We don't need more components. Thrumbo for parkas can make the game. That's true. Uh, we would have to either sell a bit more meat... Or... Hmm. Sell just, just enough. I mean, we'll kill more thrombos. We needed another one anyway. Yeah, we'll just sell whatever. Yeah. If we get 60 per thrombo, we still kill one more thrombo and we have enough. So this is fine. Yeah, sell 16. Uh, no, we can't buy anything. So we got a ton of steel. Uh, what do we want to make? We can make something. Can we afford a high tech research bench? Or do we go comms console? I think we go comms console. You would call that a steal. Oh my goodness, JXM. You should be ashamed of yourself for what you've just said. Like a kid in a candy store. Yeah. Yeah. Can we afford the beacon? That's a yeah, let's let's see. What what uh 120? Yeah, we can afford comms console plus the hell yeah. Definitely comms console, then we can keep killing stuff and keep trading. We don't need to make the tailor bench. We don't need to make the rock cutter bench. We don't need to make this. The high, the trading will get us access to more steel and stuff. This is, this is the way to go. And we'll put it under some roofing, uh, right. We'll just rearrange. I don't want to... We can still put a door right there, and that doesn't block a door. So put two more roofs right here. Remove two roofs right there. Oh, too far away from the battery. Good call. Thank you. No, leave, leave this. Uh, we need to put it in range of the battery. Hmm... I guess we do put it right there. I really... I don't want to put it in this room because it just doesn't need to be in the bedroom. We need as much space for hydroponics as we can in here. Like we should maybe build a second hydroponic basin. Oh, we need to flick this off. Oh, squirrels. Oh, yuck. Squirrels are so fast. Outside? Oh, uh... Outside? That's really tempting. But it can get blown up by enemies. That's another thing we need to defend. But that actually may spread out the damage. I think outside may be the way to go. We would need to roof it. We could put it, like, right there, maybe? Hmm, where can we defend it?
Good hit. Wow, two hits. Just go move the squirrels wherever. Oh, you're burying the squirrels? It was fresh? Was it fresh? Yeah, cool. We have a squirrel. Huh. We could move the wall out a little bit. I think maybe we'd do that. Just move this wall down one, and that gives us space. What's the logic? Uh, it prevents enemies from standing directly there. Oh, good thing I killed the squirrels. Oh, it's a genie! I love this! Uh, it's a genie with, uh, tox grenades. Oh, this is the greatest thing in the world. You don't even need to shoot him. Watch, watch, watch. Yeah, throw it, throw it. Okay, now just bring the genie through it. Watch this. Come over here. Oh, is he not gonna fall over? Usually, oh, I thought they fell over right away. I thought the genies, like, fell over instantly. Okay, I'll just take him a second. Can't you stand in your own poison? And just... Oh, whatever. This is a waste of time. Just shoot him. Who cares? I thought it would, I thought he'd fall over instantly from that. Did he take a minute there to build a snowman? <laughs> yeah, it was good shooting. It worked out. Uh, yeah, don't butcher anything. Come bury him. We'll save him for later. Hopefully we don't need them. So I think we just move this wall down one. No, if I move the wall down one, we don't have angle. No, we're just gonna just gonna build it right there. We'll just walk over it. Whatever. And trade beacon, we can, which we can move around. Uh, it can go right there. Uh, I mean, I can move the trade beacon whenever. Yeah, I just need to make one. I only need to tr put on the trade beacon when the thing arrives. Oh, good call to check. Nope. Good idea. The wind. Turn this off. Uh, turn this off. Let the battery recharge. So, when a trader arrives, we'll just put what we're going to sell around it. We can micro that. I mean, there's nothing else to do. Fox! Fox! Go, go, go. No revenge chance. We can just shoot it. Go get closer. Damn it. Should have stood way even closer than that. That's okay. We got tons of meat. So we got a bunch of junk. We are still below the point where wealth matters. Combat supplier already. A 
Silver. The Rumbo Horn. Oh, no, it's a combat supplier. <laughs> it's like, where's the thing? Uh, yes, get rid of this club. Get rid of this. Oh, good, they came for the tox grenade. Uh, we don't need medicine. Wow, we have a lot of medicine. I should sell the medicine. Yeah, that's, that's fine. No components. Uh, I do want a shock lance at some point. I will want a flak vest probably and a helmet at some point too. Yeah, we want a shock lance. We want a jump pack. We want other cool stuff. Yeah, go grab that silver. Turn this off, turn that off, turn that. <laughs> the rice is so slowly growing. Wolf! It's faster than we are. Uh, let's not go get eaten by wolf. <laughs> uh, whenever, make it TV, sterile materials. But we have a friend to help with the wolf. Yes! But we also need to run from the wolf to the friends before we get eaten. And if I come try and do the trick to shoot and move it, it could hunt us. And it may run us down. How much meat to attract it? I was thinking, like, maybe we can unbury the squirrel. Are they both fresh? I don't know. 